Welcome to Stories Untold. This is a collection of four individual stories, each of them a text adventure. And from what I understand, it's more than just a text adventure. I think it does some extra stuff with the idea of a text adventure. So let's begin. Uh, before I begin the first episode, though, I do want to mention when I first started up this game, it did have a uh, epilepsy warning. So if you are prone to epileptic uh, seizures, Due to flashing images or anything like that, just be warned. Let's begin. The House Abandoned, Episode 1. He pulled up to the driveway of the family holiday home and parked the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Yeah, so, oh, this is so cool. So it's a text adventure, but it's not just, like, the text part it actually sets the scene and it takes place inside of what looks like a really really old computer or monitor or whatever this thing is I'm not quite sure what it is I guess it has a computer inside of it computer monitor combo I think yeah so it does a really amazing job of setting the mood doesn't it that's so cool so I guess within the fiction of this universe I'm a person who's playing a text adventure before I do anything with that, let's just take a look around this table. So, 22.05. Okay, so we're playing this late at night. That's 10.05 p.m. Corded wall telephone in the back. I think this is set in the 80s, isn't it? See some pictures. Wonder if that's me. Then it looks like I have sibling. Is it? Is that a tape loader built into my keyboard? Right there? Can I like... Okay, I can zoom in. Can I, uh... I'm typing on the computer. I wanna see if I can like move my view. Doesn't seem like it. Anyway, alright. Um, you remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. Okay. Look at... Glove box. Club box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Um, so I guess there's a sort of inventory system, huh? Keep in mind, I'm completely not familiar with, like, classical text parsing adventure games. But I know some of the basics, like look at, go to, look around, stuff like that. Um... So we're gonna, like, look at... Note? The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around... Uh, around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy! Okay, so around the back there's a generator that I need to turn on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I heard that this is one of the... Like, it's supposed to be a really good game, but there are some annoyances, and one of them I heard is that you have to reread the description every time. 
like that. Like every time you return to a location, it goes through the whole thing again and you can't skip it. Okay, uh, look at key. It's the key to the house. <laughs> All right, simple enough. Can I look around? It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. Just out of curiosity, can I, like, honk the horn? Ah, oh, dang, I can't. I love that there's actual keyboard typing sound effects in-game. It's so cool. And I love this grainy old CRT. All sorts of, like, ghosting and stuff. Okay, um... Open car door? You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, go to back? Where would you like to go? Uh, backyard? You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time there with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Look at generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Okay, so maybe use generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. I guess the lights are just off. Um, go to front door. You walk back around to the front of the house. Okay, same description as before. Uh, do I have to use key on door? The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Do I just use key? You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Uh, open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use light switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay. Kitchen, living room, stairs. Let's check out the kitchen. Uh, go to kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. So if I look around, that's just going to give me that description again, right? No, it's different. Very clean and tidy, not been used in a while. Utility room. Hmm. Go to utility room. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Go to living room. Do I have to go back to the hallway first? Go back to hallway? You go back out to the hallway. Okay, go to living room. Step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Let's look around while I type with one hand while drinking tea. Nothing here of interest. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're going upstairs. Once again, I'm going to try just to go straight upstairs. Nope. Go to hallway. I really wish you could skip this. I can make typing noises, though. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. 
There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Hmm. I'm thinking, what if, what if like that's a picture of me and my sister? It depends on whether yours and your sister's is meant to be plural or not. I don't think so. I think it's yours and your sister's, like your sister's bedroom, not like the bedroom for your sister's. I think it's talking about a single sister. So what if this is us? Hmm. Uh, images of happy times. Look around. Standard landing, picture frames covering one wall. Look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. I wonder, are there like shortcuts? Like, can I just say back? To like go back to... Can I just type go back? You step back onto the landing. Okay, so you can just type go back. Okay, well... There's supposed to be something left in our bedroom, right? So go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Look around, standard bedroom, a desk, wood grain TV, the usual. Can I look at the TV? Good few years old now, but it still works like new. Look at desk. Your good old desk. A little dusty, but still very sturdy. Look at bed. <laughs> look at everything. Standard bedroom, desk, okay. Um, look at box. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. Uh, take box? Use box? You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Yeah, I thought so. That's what I'm using, isn't it? It's kind of hard to see, but I'm pretty sure that right there, that little red text says Futuro. And this here says 128K, I think. Hmm. That's a bit strange. I'm playing an adventure game that's describing what's already happened. What's sort of almost the present. It's a bit odd, don't you think? I'm sure that's going to be used to creepy effect for something. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. It's been preserved. Okay. On your desk is the computer and a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. Hmm. That's a bit creepy. Should I use computer? Use computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Play game? You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Ooh. I think that said get out. You pull up 
to the driveway of the family holiday home. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, this is creepy. If the power's out, how's this computer still working? I thought the descriptions seemed a bit spare in the house. But it looks like we're revisiting it now that it's neglected. I'm guessing it's going to be different now. Probably more detailed descriptions. Use glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. What's the note say this time? You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out. Get out the car, get out the car. You pull up to the... Okay, I think we better get the fuck out of the car. Get out of the car. You force the warped car door open. What? The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Warped car door. Hold on, look at the car. It's your dad's station wagon. It's a wreck. Huh. Um, I guess we should try to turn on the generator again, right? Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Look at generator. The old generator can supply power to the house. Use it. Oh. There's much fuel, but the generator starts up. Um, so this is actually happening right now. The pictures are a little bit different. There's black bars over our eyes. Hmm. Go back. Back to the front of the house. Use key. Do you unlock the door? The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Compelled to read it. Has it changed? It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Hmm? Uh, use light switch? Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect, or worse, there is stain- oh. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Jesus Christ. The alarm clock says, stop? Uh. Oh Christ, that makes it hard to focus. Um. Use note. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Yeah, the note changed. Make it stop? How the hell do I make it stop? I can't make it stop, can I? Turn off. Alarm clock? I mean, that's not gonna work. Wait, what? Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. What the hell? 
You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent. And stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Good note. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Jesus. So... Can I type things here that will be what I'm going to do here at the computer as well as the person in the game in the computer? If I was able to type, like, turn off alarm clock and it stopped. I don't know, can I pick up the phone? Like this one that's on the wall? Hmm. Okay, probably not. around. There are stairs, doors to the kitchen, living room. Uh, go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. A carcass on the table? What kind of a carcass? Look at the carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is, or what it was. Jesus. Can I, like, <laughs> touch the carcass? <laughs> Absolutely not. It might be an animal, but you aren't. Okay. Hmm. Look at... Right. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Wait. Did that just show up here? He, what the hell? That wasn't there before. Hmm. Okay. Uh, look at... Red X. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah. Must be paint. It feels like the note. Well, the note's bleeding. Can I look at the note? The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There's nothing for you here. Use utility room. Door? The door is locked. Can't get in there. Not yet. Alright, let's go back. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Let's go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look at the note again. Has it changed? The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Look around. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Is there anything to look at in here? Look at... Furniture? The furniture looks disgusting. There's no way you would sit on it. Okay. Let's go back and go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Uh, same but different. Delaney has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Whoa. Who 
open the door, a phone starts to ring, you don't understand, neither can he. What did that say about sisters? It, like, the text got weird and then it doubled sisters? One sisters was, like, all caps? Answer phone? You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room, whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up? Relief. Same but different. The landing has access. There it is again. Sister, sister's room. Your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Mm -mm. Look at the pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Just like they are here. I'm a little bit scared to try to go to my room because that's where I am. Both of us. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Well, it's probably 1986, right? Um. Use lock? You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. I should probably read the note, shouldn't I? I don't think I want to do this just yet. You need a working four-digit code. You know it's in this house somewhere. Yes. Let's not do that just yet. Read note. Note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. Uh, I don't know if what's on this note is trying to protect me or trying to kill me. Okay. 1986. Lock clicks open. Same but different. Uh, I could go to the sister's room though. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. It's like er the note tells me to go in here, but the text is urging me to go into the sister's room, I think. I'm going to do a go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Can I rip the boards, maybe? Uh, remove boards? Use boards? Uh, okay, fine. Go into my room. The door is closed. Open door to my room. Uh, you open the bedroom door. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Go inside. Uh, go into my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp and you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Ugh. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Look around. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Lock. 
look at use computer. Read note. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Okay, I'm in. Nothing left to do. Can I unplug the computer or something? Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Kill myself? Like, kill the other me or something? Talk? Talk to him. <laughs> I don't know. Um, turn around? I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. Why can't I look at you? Leave room? You can't leave here. This is where it has to end. End? You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please stop. No. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. No. No. so cool that was so cool oh my god what a way to do a text adventure not just is it a text adventure itself but the very act of playing the game is actually like the character you're inhabiting playing the game is also part of the game there's like there's so many different layers there that was so creepy I love the mood setting, oh my god, typing something that this apparently other person is doing and then having it actually take place in the, I'm not sure how to refer to all these different worlds, but having it take place in the real world, so to speak, like turning on the generator and then a light turns on next to the computer. That's so cool. All right, so that was episode one of Stories Untold, The House Abandoned. I hope you've enjoyed so far, I certainly have, and next time I'll play The Lab Conduct.